that's the uh, the picture that everybody has almost of me winning that gold medal in Barcelona over the 400 hurdles. Um, it's the picture I have at home, and it's the one that um, yeah changed my life forever. Oh, Do you think it's all going to go to your head? No, I don't think I'm that type of person. that would have been my OBE. I remember getting the MBE and then obviously handing that back and you get the OBE and that being announced on the day that Finley was due to be born. So it was quite a memorable day uh, to say that I was going to get an OBE and, and one that you never ever think that you're ever going to achieve. And it wasn't just about your sporting achievements, it was about the other work that you did around, you know, charity and you know, and all those sorts of things as well. It just made you realise that there's more to you than, than just the athlete. Wow. My boys. And my little one on the right there is just 18. And look at him there. I do remember that day trying to convince the boys to get over those hurdles. And little Marley on the right-hand side. I mean, he's just tiny luckily they had some little ones i think it probably took a few shots to get um john didn't do bad my husband there on the left hand side but yeah it's just lovely seeing them actually embracing you know who i am but at the end of the day you're just mum You won Olympic gold in Barcelona in 1992. Do you think, as a woman, you got the same recognition as you deserved at that time? No, not at all. Um, it, it was weird, you know, there was five of us that won those gold medals back then, and I was the only woman. You've been called the Essex girl. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been down here four years oh. now, so I think I'm more of a Sussex girl than anything, but I think they just like that title more than I had to win that gold medal to get you know the sponsorship the recognition um, and what i deserve so winning that gold medal in in barcelona was more than just winning a gold medal it it, it was that you know I'm, I'm just as good as you guys here um, and i want that respect but we were such a long way away and i just hope at that time that we were going to close that barrier uh, which i do believe that i did at the time but that's why i love where we're women's sport has come now. What's your advice to any young girls starting out in sport that want to achieve similar to you? Always have a dream. Um, be strong. Don't listen to the negative thoughts and people's voices around you. Um, and believe in yourself. I think I come across so many women, whether that's within sport, whether that's within business, that think that they're not good enough. And so much of what I learned was, uh, so much of it is about your thoughts up here and how strong you have to be. And, and I think us women have to override those negative thoughts because we can achieve so much. And so many people have achieved so much and we need to be able to give the youngsters that direction um, and that confidence that they need. If you could take me back to any moment in time, what moment would it be? Oh, it would, uh, it has to be crossing that line and winning that Olympic gold medal. You know, I say it's the most asked question that I have. It's the, it's the most, you know, life-changing moment ever. Um, and, you know, it's, it's almost the hardest place for me to be able to go because I just, I couldn't take it in. And I wanted to take it in, I wanted to share it. I always remember thinking that I had this box and I put it all in and I remember it later and, and be able to share it. And, and you can't almost, and it's so hard to describe, but I would love to take you back to that moment. And I guess it's just, not just that moment, but I guess it's the, everything that you'd learnt getting there, the hardship, the, the training, the discipline and the, and the mindset to actually get it all right on that, on that night. And um, yeah, because at the end of the day, I am just mum to you. And I think, you know, we've probably never really talked about it. You know, I can't believe still that it's all come true and you know, what a brilliant week I had. Looks good. Sally, who studied the English ship, Oh, and he pulled that out. 